grease fire, I guess, and I don't know the first thing about yeah. any of that. And so I like boiled water on it or something, and it made it so worse. worse. Yeah. And they were like, you boil country, what are you doing? You know, my dad was all mad. And I'm like, I had no idea. So I, every time there's a fire, I'm panicked. I don't know what to do. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. Sorry if I got water down and everything. Oh, I don't think I'm going to do that. No, I try to get it right on the fire. With this mailbox. I'm like, are you going to my truck? <laughs> <laughs> well, I went up there and I thought it was like early when it was water or something. And I was like, knocking on the door and I'm hanging the door. So I was like, looking and I was just going to try to find a little place. Yeah. I didn't want to touch, miss, you know. Just, right. I, that's the last thing I want to do is be caught like touching me. Yeah, stuff. exactly. So I was just kind of walking in and then he came out and scared me. Yeah. But I was like, I'm sorry, but <laughs> I just need some water. But it's not even what I we need. I, I know nothing about it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, my family is in a pool company. So yeah. I know for, I, I don't know for, yeah. He does. That's his thing. That's his thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I might have doused that a little bit. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Sorry about that. 
you can't grab your team. <laughs> Yeah, you want me riding out? Yeah. I'm gonna grab my hand. Where does this go? Your side. Uh, in the back? In the, it was like, see how that one is? It's yeah. in that corner like that. Can you that. grab that real quick? You can try that. Yeah. Alright. Howdy folks. We're here. Out driving, we're going to head over Pigeon Forge. Uh, we just done, tried to do a, uh, I don't know what you'd start off calling that. That was, we got the call for that truck this morning. An illegal part. It was, yeah, it was just parked in the gal's driveway. She didn't know whose it was. It was in her way. But she couldn't get in or out. She had to go somewhere. So, like two minutes before we get there, she called and said that they were walking back to their truck. Maybe run out of gas or something. Well, we went ahead and just down there and just checked. Went down there and checked. And they had run out of gas. And the gas that he just poured in it was full of water. So we tried getting the water out of it. And our gas can was empty. We had just done a, done a fuel delivery. And I hadn't filled it up yet. So we went, filled up the tank with some fuel. Come back, he said he thought he got all the water out of it. So, all right, so we dumped some gas in the tank and I saved some, saved some in our can. We're trying to prime it, the dangerous part. Yeah, it was dangerous. Yeah. And it still wouldn't head off. Uh, all this shows in the video. But, uh, it would start to run. I think it was running on the gas that I was pouring down his throat. Because he was still, he was still getting water out of the fuel line. Uh, and ended up catching on fire on us once. Got it safely put out. Thanks to Mindy grabbing some <laughs> water. No water is not the greatest thing to throw on it. But, at the but it was already watered down gas. So when it hit it, it didn't flame up. It actually, oh, it, mo it knocked most of it out. And we were able to get it the rest of the way out. I started, I was like, oh crap, I went to grab a rag, but that wasn't enough. The flame was huge. The size of the intake. But, uh, Scary. It was just the watered down gas. What part of the gas was in it, I guess, is what ignited it, backfired. Set it off. And the compression when he tried to start. Compression, it. yeah. So, got that out. I went ahead and grabbed the fire extinguisher out of the truck in case we run into that again. We had to do something a little bit more drastic. So, we kept cranking on it, trying. He was still getting water out of the fuel line. I guess that he's got a bunch of water in that tank. So, instead of us sitting there trying, we run down the battery on the jump pack running his battery down. He, he made the call. He's an ass and say, hey, we just, you know, we're just going to give up. Uh, they had a, they had a truck. I can Sorry about it. that. No, yeah, go ahead. I'll edit dry. it. Uh, he went, he made the call he, to go pick up his truck and come back and get it. So that's where we were at on it. We weren't able to get the start for a second from dumping some gas down in it so he was gonna go back and get his truck so we took him yeah and he was a fellow tow truck driver from yeah the past. they had had wreckers and they were kind of moving out of it and went into uh box, truck. box trucks and hauling for stuff amazon for amazon or yeah. whatever so they kind of took a different route he had a medium duty truck sitting there which uh, I, I don't know if he was going to go get his truck with that or not but which caught my eye yeah she was eyeballing that she i was gleaming <laughs> all googly eyed over it it was an older uh, uh, international
international. Yeah. The boxes on the side of it were super nice. Yeah. A lot of storage. Big wheel lift on it. Uh, I think it was twin line winch on it. So pretty neat. Yeah. But uh, yeah, they were they were gonna load up stuff and go get go get his pickup. So so we just got out of there and uh, went and grabbed something to eat. So we were starved. So. Uh, and now we're gonna go help everything auto so tire change because apparently it's tire change day over here. <laughs> tire change galore. Jeff so loves can... oh, tire change. <laughs> so we want to see if we can get over here and help him out with it. So let's see what they're up to. Let's, we're not been too busy today except for that going on. To hang out. So yeah, we'll go over and see what's going on. But uh, until next time.